Morning, Gear. Hey, so uh, sour grapes are a serious issue. Virginia upsets Duke, right? Number three, Duke's upset about it, obviously. The coach picks now, I mean, for the past 20 years, when they, in lots of teams, uh, win or lose, everybody rushes the court. Now, Coach K, oh, God, it's a security issue. My players are in danger, and we need to be ushered off the court. We have to figure this out. Is this serious? Well, I, I can't I can't argue with it. I, I, yeah. I'm a believer in it's one time, in fact, it happens happened rarely, but somebody, do you, you remember, gosh, uh, oh, a few months ago, somebody in a, and was uh, in a wheelchair, got caught under and, there? Okay, well, I, yeah. Do you remember that story? Because I'm just faintly remembering it, but my point is, <laughs> yeah. uh, all it's going to take is, is somebody not getting up. Well, and in this case, he's like, it's going to take, you know, say one of my players gets hurt. What I'm thinking, though, is apparently when everybody rushed the court, too, some fans were saying things. Half of them, you know, some of them may be drunk. They say stuff to the players who lost. The coach, in this case, I guess said, an exchange of words and you know he doesn't want a fight to happen like no 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 and, and listen uh, exchange your words i mean that's not pretty and uh, uh it always Dude. bothers me yeah you know uh players are out there they're sitting ducks and there's you know some little punk has too much to drink right. and then all of a sudden he he thinks he's john wayne right but uh I, seriously from from a from a physicality standpoint you know, if somebody trips and uh, you're on the bottom of that pile. Yes. It, it, the more you do it, that could happen. Well, and I don't want to hurt some seven-foot basketball player, Gary. You know. Oh, will you stop that? Okay. I'm not talking, well, no, 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 I, I'm talking I, about just one of the poor little kids who are right. running out, you know. <laughs> what about, what about. See, you, you don't believe me on this. No, 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 no. I, I, be allowed. I see both sides. And uh, the fans always go crazy. Look, at least you're not well, burning what's something. What's the other side? Traditionally. The they're having fun? Well, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're rushing the court. They're having fun. This is what happens. If you look at the majority of the times, nobody gets hurt uh, whatever but yeah they are crazy and like I said they're not setting fire to something isn't that traditional yeah well no you, you okay. only set fire to something when your team wins a World Series all right okay you're really happy then so you deface property and right. uh, write right. graffiti all over right. somebody's business now what about what about uh, this new craze with the Harlem Shake everybody has to outdo each other with this too and the latest thing I guess the FAA is getting into the investigation of this one because you what you do is you do the Harlem Shake and then everybody breaks out in it. This is the thing. Kind of remember, like, teach me how to Dougie. Anyway, this is the new thing. The, the Frisbee team in Colorado, whatever, did it on a real airline flight. And so it's like everybody's trying to one-up each other with this thing. This, this, you know this, the Harlem Shake? That has to be stopped, too. This There's going to be some young person <laughs> falling down on the ground. Right? They're going to be shaking over the top of them. <laughs> and the violence continues. The graffiti <laughs> continues. And when somebody wins a World Series, we'll deface property in the name of we're happy. All right. And, what, and out doing that yet, the Heat just released their version of the Harlem Shake with LeBron all dressed up like a king. Check this out. Watch this. Give us a second. There. Yeah, well, you were just saying it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you get a seven-footer fall on top of you. Think that'd be funny? Oh, my God. What you, look at this. The, does this fall in the name of, like, things you'll look back on? Like, LeBron will look back and go, yeah, maybe I looked, maybe I shouldn't have done that. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'll say what? it in a nice way. You oh. reach LeBron's status. You have four guys on your payroll that walk around and tell you how cool you were. Right, right. 12 game winning streak. I yeah, get it. You're hot. And, hey, man, you're. So, seriously, he'll think about that for five seconds. <laughs> okay, okay, but what but about. That's dangerous, too. <laughs> what about the new uniforms that some of the kids uh, in college have to wear in the conference play? They're going to be wearing these new uniforms. You know, you look back at this. I've seen old pictures of me in neon, and I said to myself, never do that again. Not only are they neon, this is the, all the Adidas sponsored teams, but they're camouflage. Yeah. Like, see this? What do you think of these? This is a new uniform. Well, that's dangerous, too. Four guys could jump you. <laughs> No, they'll be seen crossing traffic. Yeah, but, no, I, 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 that's, that's a little too much. But then again, you know, what is this, Nike? And this one's Adidas. But, yeah, you're right on with Nike and, like, oh, what oh, they wear in Oregon and all of that. I mean, but, I, mean I understand. Listen, in, in the long run, what are they hurting? But that, uh, all this stuff is just a uh, deal uh, to make money. If, if, and if somebody just comes out and says, hey, we're going to make some, make up some crazy uniforms. I think the kids will like and they'll go by. Then I'm all for it. But when they just say, we're being innovative right. for the college kid, 
That's the marketing deal. It, it's just, this has come around before. I wore this in the 90s. I, yeah. I know, you, you. come on, admit it, right? Didn't yeah. you wear neon back in the day? Or the, the tiger pants, those Zuba pants or whatever? Yeah. Not uh, Daria. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's and Charles, Charles Barkley. Charles Let Barkley. me tell you, Daria. Those of us who have lived a little bit, we're against anybody having fun. Yes. All the stuff you had today was too much fun. Too and too dangerous. Dangerous and fun. Stay All right. in your house and watch TV. <laughs> Very good plan. All right, Garrett. Have a good week. I'll right, see Dara. you later.